Hello beautiful humans! Welcome back to another one of my videos and today we're going to be trying rock art! So I have two rocks over here and one of them I'm going to transform into no face from uh, Spirited Away and the other one into Totoro from my neighbor Totoro. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right, I don't know. So I think this long rock, I'm going to turn it into no face and the smaller one, I think it will be really good for Totoro. I honestly love rock art so much. I think it's so therapeutic and I uh, make it whenever I'm stressed. It really calms me down and uh, for Totoro, uh, we're just going to be needing very simple color, just gray and white. <laughs> this gray color <laughs> looks like it just pooped but anyways we're gonna be serious now i have some water to blend my colors in and to just wet the paint brushes so they don't dry up i'm just gonna paint the surface of the rock into a gray color Alright, now we're almost done uh, with this uh, gray rock for Totoro. We're just going to set it aside to uh, dry it and in the meantime, we're going to um, just wash our paintbrush real quick and paint the surface of this rock black for no face. Okay, we're done with the second rock as well. We're just going to set it aside for it to dry and your hands will get really messy. Um, and these rocks dry up really fast so you don't even have to wait like really long periods of time uh, for, let for them to dry between each coat. Okay, now just, we're just going to take our rock and uh, I think I'm going to uh, let the wider side be its stomach and the uh, smaller side be its head. We're just going to take uh, some white paint and a thin paintbrush uh, and paint its stomach white. I'm actually going to do two coats of white on uh, over there uh, because I know it looks really white on the camera but it is uh, the gray is showing up so now we're just going to make the face of no face <laughs> And guys, don't be afraid to make mistakes. You can just cover it up with more paint and it'll be as good as new. So I think about two years ago, uh, we went on a trip and we were, we were collecting rocks for my brother's aquarium and I collected a lot of beautiful rocks and I decided to paint on them and I googled a rock painting. I didn't really think it was a thing and a lot of rock painting showed up. So I was really surprised. So yeah, I think that was the start of uh, my rock painting career. <laughs> it's not a career though uh, but like my rock painting journey I guess because I made quite a few rock paintings since then and I've really enjoyed them all right now that the face is done I'm just going to put it aside for it to dry and we're going to bring back Totoro and uh, on his stomach we're going to make like these tiny curved arrows uh, they're going to be feathers and uh, eyes and whiskers and nose. I'm just going to paint on the uh, uh, white eyes and the small details, details like the pupils, nose and whiskers. I'm going to draw them on with a permanent black marker because it's going to be more easier and precise that way. Thank you. 
I'm going to let his eyes dry and then draw in the pupils later. <laughs> now we're just going to take no face and like draw on his eyes and mouth with my black permanent marker. Now that I'm done with that, it's time to draw on those little lines, those line, purple line type things uh, over and under his eyes and they are purple color, color. So for making purple, we need pink and blue. So uh, we need a red and white to make pink and we're just going to add a little blue to that. Pink and blue and if you don't have pink, you can add red, white and blue to make purple. Okay, so I think I made, I managed to make the perfect shade of purple, uh, which uh, is on No Faces' face. So I'm just going to uh, take my smaller brush and um, use that to paint on his face. I am done and I was supposed to be done over here but I thought it looked very empty and something something was just missing so I decided to draw his hands yes I decided to draw his hands and don't worry guys if it's not perfect you guys can always clean up the edges later with more black paint it's just, it's very easy rock painting is just the easiest type of painting and I I honestly think you don't need any artistic skills for it I think it's that easy okay now I'm completely done with no face I did off camera after this uh, clean up his edges edges of his arms and now we're going to make Totoro's pupils so he doesn't look like a like a bald ghost anymore We're just going to pet his little bald head real quick and now we're going to make the fur, the little feather type things on his stomach uh, with our little brush and some grey paint. After I was done making his little feathers, I did off camera make his little mouth and two ears as well because I thought something was missing and I just added, added these two cute little features which I think add a lot more onto the painting. And we are done with our two cute little monsters and you guys can also paint the back side of it It's optional because the way I uh, display it in my house, you can't really see the back side So I didn't even bother uh, but you guys can do it uh, if you want it will just it'll look better I guess um, and um, I really need to upload this video now it's I think it's uh, 1 4 and uh, this video 1 4 a.m. and it needed to be uploaded at midnight so yeah you guys <laughs> I'm so sorry for the late upload and oh yeah a quick upload a quick update I'm sorry uh, I forgot to give you guys the common issue I was having on my channel I fixed it so hopefully we won't be having to deal with that anymore I love you guys so much. See you next time. Bye.